Hi, Jacob Reed's Battery here. Today I'll be showing you how to use a new battery meter when upgrading your mobility scooter to use our more powerful lithium batteries. Now with some scooter models like this one, there's an onboard battery meter. When using lithium batteries, there's a problem. The battery meter will always show that the battery is at 100% or full right up until the battery is empty. This is due to a different in voltage and how it works with our batteries versus, say, lead acid. You see, with lithium batteries, the voltage and power is constantly outputted at the same level. With lead acid batteries, there's a significant drop in voltage and power when using them in operation of the mobility scooter. Because of this, the onboard battery meter is simply not accurate enough, so you need to use this battery meter to tell you how much power you have before you need to recharge. Now using our battery meter is quite easy. There's only a couple steps. The first step, you'll need to connect the battery meter to an XLR adapter. For the second step, you'll connect the XLR adapter to the charging port of the mobility scooter. In a moment, you'll get an accurate reading of the voltage and power output. On a final note, our battery meters are calibrated to a safer voltage range. However, you can change the voltage range on the battery meter to better suit your mobility scooter performance and capacity needs. You can check out our mobility scooter battery upgrade kits on our website at www.agisbattery.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding upgrading your mobility scooter to use our more powerful lithium batteries that are longer lasting, please call us at 949-469-1776 or email us at contact at agisbattery.com.